and my remaining animation is my map. So I'm click on my map, add an effect, and I want that to dissolve in like that. All right, so we have animation on all of our objects. I'm going to just click on my map for a second and I want to zoom in just enough so you can see what happens here. Okay, so now down at the bottom of the inspector, you see build order. So let me zoom back out a little bit. I'm going to select build order and build order in the panel, it shows me the order that I um, animated all of my objects. I started with the snowflake, then went to the line, then beach chair, going where, and the map. This is not the order that I want these items to animate in. I want the map to animate first. So I'm just going to take the map and drag it to the top of this pane. And so now it's at the top. And actually, this was right there for a second. So the idea is to create all of this animation and to also have this animation in act without me clicking the mouse. Because right now, if I set this as a slideshow, everything will happen when I click the mouse. I don't want to do that. I want it to happen on its own. So the map, I want it to start after transition. The snowflake, I want it to start. I want it to start after build one. Build one is the map. So I'm going to select after build one. So what happened is that it went and connected to the bottom of build one. I want the line to start after build two, which is the snowflake. So as I choose these and tell them when I want them to start, which is after the build above, it connects to the build above. And after that, so one thing that you have to do when you are creating an anim animation is that you have to test it a lot to make sure that things are in the order you want them to be in. So let, whoops. And don't accidentally drag your mouse somewhere after build one. Okay, so let's save this and let's take a look. Uh, let me click on this for a second. So this is going to start after. There's one more thing. I'm going to click actually on the slide on the left-hand side. And if I look over on the right-hand side where it says start, it says start on click. I want it to start automatically and I want that to delay to be half a second. So now let's play and see how this looks. And not going. Okay. So I had to click on that. I'll fix that. Okay. With me? Okay. Yep. All right. So that did not, oh, let, that didn't start the way I wanted it to. So let's click here. I, what, did, what didn't happen is I had to click in order to start that. So I don't have something set. So with the slide, let's select it on the left-hand side. Even though it says start transition automatically, I have not added a transition. So I have to select add effect. I want that effect to be dissolve. And I want that to start automatically. So let's play that again to make sure that works. And it should start automatically and it is not starting automatically again. So why duration 1.5 seconds make that duration 1.0 preview. Okay. And let's try that one more time. If it doesn't this time, I'm just going to keep going and play and come on one, two, three. It is not showing. And I don't know if it's because I am recording this. 
Okay. But everything else plays once I click. So I'm going to go with the flow. All right. With me? Yep. Okay, cool. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. So now the next thing I'd like to do is add slides, uh, add slides that have photographs on them and the photo.